Hello everyone, Comrade Kenny here. Uh, welcome to a World Conquer 4 mod review. For today, we will be doing a review on the Interwar mod. Uh, so far, uh, this is just a preview, so expect to see this project uh, in the upcoming future. But for now, uh, the modder still has a lot of things planned out for this mod, like fix some bugs, add some more features to it. But from what I've seen so far, it already looks pretty cool. So before we start off with this mod review, uh, let me just advertise my Discord server. You can find the link in the description below or the, or the pinned comments. And now that, now that we got that out of the way, let's move right into the mod. So yeah, the interwar mod. As the title suggests, it's based around the interwar period. Uh, in my opinion, it's a really interesting period that you know, not a lot of people are familiar with. Like so much things happen uh, during this time, you know, depending on which country you come from. So let's move on to the features of this mod. So if you move on to conquest right now, uh, let me just read out the new things added. So there are 40 cities in this. Uh, the warlord countries, examples such as the Xinjiang clique, the Anhui clique, and the Jili clique. So we got the Peiyang, uh, we got the Sichuan, the Shangxi, uh, what else do we have? The Guanxi, the Jili, etc. etc. So you even got the Fengxian click over here. So, uh, the Warlord period, super interesting. Um, I wonder what the alliance is in this game, because uh, every... Oh, Spartacus movement, blah, blah, blah. So from the looks of it, um, it's quite a lot of new nation. Yep, a lot of new nation. So the alliance uh, really varies, I guess. Seems like yeah, it doesn't look like too fun for uh, the Chinese right now. So judging it, I think Beiyang Click is basically against everyone, every warlord, even the Japanese from the. Uh, let's move on to the Middle East. The Middle East, so. Uh, the Middle East hasn't been unified yet, so it's before the Saudi unification between the Kingdom of Hejaz and Jabal Shamar. Pretty neat. Uh, another thing added is um, Nepal has been added, which is pretty nice. Uh, same with San Marino. So, where's San Marino? Um, it's here somewhere. Let me just check right now. Uh, I'm. Hmm. I could have sworn San Marino was somewhere in Italy, I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, let me just go through this right now. Um, yeah, over here, San Marino. So that's another interesting nation added. Uh, another one is the Baltic states and revolutionary uh, states such as like Ireland, as you can see over here. And what else? Iran, uh, let's visit Iran right now. As you can see here, uh, we even got the Russian civil war going on in the background. Um, here, there's the invasion of the Turkey, or yeah, Turkey. Uh, the Baltic states, there we go. Then what else is added? The Spartacus. The Spartacus in Bavaria. So over here we got another, another almost forgotten uh, bit of history uh, in Germany. So here we go. Uh, this the Spartacus in Bavaria. Uh, the Bolsheviks, yeah, over here, uh, and the Caucasus countries during the Russian Civil War. So down here we got the Caucasus countries. Over 300 to 500 cities, because that's a lot. As you can see, when I zoom out right now, it's just filled with city names. Uh, new colors for every nation, that should be obvious um, for everyone who saw. Uh, territorial changes in warlord territories and the British Raj over here. Pretty neat that they have uh, bits of France here. It's surprisingly pretty historically accurate. Um, pretty impressed. Uh, new font, as you can see, the city names. Uh, they have a new letter font. The Weimar Republic 
music. So I don't have the music playing in the background, but hopefully uh, in the future you'll find out. Uh, wonders, so I'll check out the wonders later. So what else has been added? Um, I think that should be it for now. There's some issues, but I'm not gonna discuss it here. Hopefully uh, he fixes it in the future. Uh, a lot of things, one of the few things the modders wants to work on, I'll just discuss it right now, uh, is the alliances. So, uh, so far uh, there are some issues within the allies or axis, so like Turkish being neutral, or like the Bolshevik siding with the Germans uh, instead of against them. So hopefully we see that fix in the upcoming uh, update. So for now, uh, let's just, you know, fight. Check out what's going on around the world. So we got Ethiopia store, um, we got uh, we got this bit down here in the North Africa. Pretty nice. Again, I'm pretty impressed how uh, accurate some of these uh, borders are. Uh, something you don't really see much. So yeah, I think that should be it for the conquest. I'm not sure if they changed anything with the generals that just visit the general right now. But I know he did add a lot of uh, wonders, we'll check that out later. So there is Trotsky in this game, and as you can see, uh, if you buy him, you probably get a shitload of medals, which is pretty nice. Uh, but that seems to be about it, so only Trotsky has been added, hopefully we see more of this in the future. And now let's visit the wonders, and also a bunch of new wonders has been added, uh, let's just see. So these are the usual wonder. Um, wait, where is it? Is it here? Statue of the Statue of Liberty, I guess. Wait, I'm not sure if these are in base game already. Um, hold on a sec. Wait, let's go back. I think what, what he meant by wonder is within the conquest itself. Let's just check again. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm mistaken. It's not the wonder in the game. It's the wonder on the map. So uh, let me just find all of them right now. I'm not too sure if I'm familiar with all the wonders. So the first one being the obvious one is uh, the Arc de Triomphe in uh, Paris. So let's just wait for it. Um... So yeah, you can see wonders here in the map. The Prague Castle. Uh, where would that be? Hmm. There's one here in Austria. Uh, we got the Kaaba, the Dome on the Rock. Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia. Uh, yeah, over here. Uh, there's one in Statue of Liberty. It's over here in America. Let's look for it over here. Um, we got the Dome of the Rock, I'm not too sure what that is based on. Kaaba, I'm, I'm also unfamiliar with that. Um, in Japan, we got the one of the castles, I forgot the name of it. Here, in we also got a White House over here. And the Catedral Primada de Colombia. Is it over here? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's about it for this mod. I hope you guys would enjoy it. Uh, not yeah, hopefully you enjoy it, uh, what you see, and you know, be excited for the official release in the upcoming future. Hopefully, it doesn't give up on this mod. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.